All right, sorry I didn't do this yesterday. Um, I dropped my car video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I got a new car. Shout out to everybody that liked my photo on Instagram. You guys really helped me um, pull girls. I'm kidding. I didn't pull any girls off that. But when they when they see it, they're going to see that. And they're going to see you guys liking it. And it's going to help me out. So, <laughs> Anyways. Um, this is a video that I wanted to do. Because I find this situation very interesting. And I have some thoughts that I don't know if they're unique. I don't know if you guys are going to feel the same way as me. But I'm going to just say how I feel. And we're just going to, you know, we're just going to go from there. Sometimes I, like, I should never mind. I'm not even going to say that out loud. I was going to give away a great idea of something that I'd be having. But I'm not going to do that. Anyways, all right. So let's watch. Um, let's listen to Russell Westbrook first here. Yeah kind of a window to some of the extreme things that have happened to your family this season um people kind of talking My career, you mean well <laughs> it seemed like it was about this season but i was wondering if there was anything you could speak to that yeah you know um i think you know for one you know i 100 percent stand behind my wife and how she's feeling because um it's not just about this year um, right now, she's reached a point, um, and my family has reached a point to where it's really weighing on them, um, and it's very unfortunate. I'm sure you guys uh, just have all heard this, because but in case you um, haven't, this is just a game. We need this to review first. This is not end all be all, and um, when it comes to basketball, I don't mind the criticism of missing and making shots, but the moment it becomes where you. Sh you you know, my name is getting shamed. Um, it becomes a, a, a issue. Um, I've kind of let it go in the past, you know, just because it never really bothered me. But um, it really kind of hit me the other day. Honestly, I was uh, me and my wife was at a um, teacher parent conference for my son. <clears throat> um, and the teacher told me, she's like, uh, Noah, he's so proud of his last name. He writes it everywhere. He writes it on everything he he tells everybody he walks around and says i'm westbrook westbrook that's his last name and it kind of i kind of sat there in shock and it hit me like damn like i can no longer allow people um you know for example westbrook to me is now shaming like it's shaming my name it's uh, my legacy for my kids um it's a name that's means more not just to me but to my wife to my mom my dad uh, the ones um, that kind of paved the way for me. And, and that's just one example. I mean, that kind of hit myself and my wife in a, in a place where um, it's not great, man. And, and, you know, I think a lot of the, a lot of times, you know, I'll let it slide, but it's now time to put a stop to, to that and put it on notice. Like, there's a difference. And I, it, we need to make sure that it's understood. And every time I do hear it now, I will make sure that I address it and uh, make sure that I nip that in the butt. This trade could go down. It's the worst trade in Laker history. Whoa. If, that, if we don't get out the playing Here game, we go. Right. that's what will happen. Just follow up to that. You said, you know, your, your whole career, you've been dealing with some degree of that. But yeah. has it been enhanced this year or is it? It's, there, it you know, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. Like it's, it's been like this for my entire career. Um, I've been blessed, man, and, and super thankful for um <clears throat> the ones around me and the ones that support me, but um, it's really um, the the shaming of my name, the shaming of my character, the shaming of who I am as a person um, is to me is not warranted. Um, I haven't done anything to anybody. I haven't hurt anyone. I haven't done anything but play basketball a way that people may not like. Um, and this is just a game. This is just a game. This is not my entire life. Uh, um, and I think that is the, the ultimate thing that's been for me. And I don't like to harp on, I kind of just kind of want it out there. But once it starts to affect my, my family, my wife, um, even today, my mom said something about it today and it affects them even going to games. Like my, I don't even want to bring my kids to the game because I don't want them to hear people calling their dad nicknames and out of their names for no reason because he's playing the game that he loves and it's it's gotten so bad where 
you know, my family don't even want to go to the home games, to any game because of, um, you know, uh, not just the media across the globe use their platforms to constantly shame, shame, shame me. Um, and, you know, it's just super unfortunate, man. I'm, you know, and it's super upsetting to me. And I'm, you know, I'm at a point, you know, to where uh, I'm going to continue to address it. It's just uh, unfortunate. Okay, boy, do I have a lot to say on this one. You guys know me, right? I'm notorious as being like huge Russell Westbrook fan, right? Huge Russell Westbrook fan. So this this is this is all this has been a tough year for me. You know? This has been a tough year, I think, for all Russell Westbrook fans because the drop off this year has been insane. To say the least, um, as a Russell Westbrook fan, I can honestly say the drop off this year, the drop off last year, I'm not talking about team, none of that. I'm just talking about in skill level, the drop off, it's been a lot. It seems like, no, I know for a fact this shit is getting to him. Okay, so, okay. Do I think that he has started receiving a lot more hate and a lot more death threats? this year than he ever has before in his life. Yes, I do. You're on the Lakers. The the Los Angeles Lakers, you know? Um, Russ, let's call it what it is. You're stinking up the place, bud. You know, you suck. You've sucked all year. You look like Coos. You look worse than Coos. We look better with Coos and Caruso and then and, and, and KCP. We were better with Kuz, Caruso, and KCP than we are with you. We didn't give up all of them to get you. I'm just saying, this is bad. You look bad, you know? Um, from my perspective, it looks like in the past, Russ, they've hated on him. But he's been good. He's been able to play through it. Now they're hating on him. He looks like he doesn't. He looks like he doesn't know how to turn his game around. He looks like he doesn't know how to be good anymore. Right? He had. He doesn't. He's tried everything and doesn't know how to be good again. So because he doesn't know how to be good again, he's just. He's, he's given up and he's pulled the bitch card. He said, you know what? You guys are making fun of me. They're making fun of me, guys. That's how it looks for me. That's how it looks from my perspective. Hey, I'm Russell Westbrook and I don't know how to be good anymore. So since I don't know how to be good anymore, now I'm about to bring up these death threats that I've been getting my whole career. I've been the most hated player since I've been in the league. Right? They've been hating on me. But it was cool before because I was at least good. And it wasn't this much hate. But now that it's this much hate, and I don't know how to be good again, you know, it's tough. I mean, if we look at it by the stats, statistically speaking, with the amount of minutes that Russell Westbrook is getting, he's one of, if not the worst shooter in the league. You know, it's not like, you know, you're bringing it. You're West bricking it. Like, I don't know what to say. You're bricking it, bro. You're bricking it. Stop bricking. They'll stop calling you West Brick if you stop bricking. You know? Now, again, the death threats. I mean, you should never threaten anybody's family. Never threaten to kill anybody. That's that's over the line, right? And I'm sure it's picked up a lot more since he's been on the Lakers, but I'm sure that's something that's always been happening, right? He's just, I feel like he's sort of using that to cop a plea. He's trying to cop a plea like, guys, it's too much. The hate's too much. I can't turn my game around. This is too much. I'm, I'm copping police. That's how it looks to me. I feel bad for him. You know, because I genuinely don't think he can turn it around. I don't think he can turn it around. I genuinely don't think he can. You know? And I think that he knows that, and that's why he came on here trying to throw up the white flag. Moving forward, how can we fix this? 
you know, the way I see it is there's not many options. He either has to get traded to a different team. No. He either has to get better. That's option number one. You got to get better. You want him to stop talking and get better, which I don't know if he can, right? Just get better. He can't get better. He's got to switch teams. He's got to switch teams. And if he can't switch teams, he's got to shut up, right? No more that um, I didn't come here with expectations. I know guys with championships that aren't as happy as me. No more of these smart ass remarks and these interviews. You gotta shut up. You gotta shut up, number three, and really lean into that white flag you just threw up. Ah, guys, I'm sorry. I'm off that. Please. I'm throwing up the white flag, begging for you guys to stop. I'm done. You bitched me. Like, I don't know. Those are the three options that I see. It's tough. It's tough. I do feel bad for him, you know? Because it's not all his fault. And he's not playing that bad. Like, it's bad for him. And it looks horrible on the Lakers. But if he was doing this on the... I don't know. It wouldn't look that bad on another team. It wouldn't look as bad, you know? Anyway, I'm out of here, man. You guys can let me know what you think. We're going to go watch some games in a different video. I don't even feel like watching the Lakers, Bulls. I mean, Lakers, Spurs, highlights. LeBron didn't play. Yeah, we're not watching that. <laughs> Here's a clip of Russell Westbrook missing an alley <laughs> I'm kind of here. <laughs> Don't forget to like that picture for me, please. <laughs>